is kind of the guy that I think is, you know, the guy no one wants to mess with in our room, and he keeps it under control. And, and those, but Keith, you know, Keith Bowers has some good leadership abilities. Out, I mention Alex Walker all the time. The kid does everything right. He works hard. He's a he's a a great kid. Alex is Alex has to know every position on the defensive line, and he outscores. He finishes his test first, and he's. He's not. His grades are higher than the other guys, so he he's kind of a, I think a, a good leader um, for our guys. And and you know, obviously we mentioned Darius, and we have some experience. Justin Justin Anderson's an experienced, seasoned guy that's been around and that's that's increased his his knowledge and ability. So we, we have a good room right now. I'm I'm excited about them, and um, we have a lot of work to do. But I I feel good about replacing those two with some guys that can play. Do you feel Quentin kind of had a little breakout this spring, took it to the next level? I think Quentin has improved himself greatly, you know, and, and I always tease Quentin because I always tell him how many sacks you have, and, he'll, you know, he says none, you know, but I, there's, a, there's a growth and a, a maturity that he's starting to get, and, um, but there's also a side of Quentin he's got to keep, you know, keep working on. Is, is, and Darius Kilgo does a great job with, with Quentin pushing him to understand that, that there's way more to give and way more to do and don't be happy with he had a good scrimmage or a good day. So, um, no, but he has. He's had a good spring. I'm, I'm, I'm happy where he's at right now. And, um, you know, my challenge to my guys going forward is an incredible offseason because if we can play with um, better conditioning than we have right now and we're very, we have a very strong group, um, we just need to keep enhancing that side of the game, which will be the next step for Quinton. Who was your biggest surprise this spring, Coach? Um, I did, you know, Nate Clark, I think, has had a really good spring. I think he's um, he's not where I want him to be, and he's not where he needs to be right now. But he's made incredible strides mentally, physically, coachability-wise. He's he's been, you know, he's been a. a, a, a a breath of fresh air you know last year he it was new and he was struggling and he he get mad and frustrated and now he's learning to take the coaching so i think nate's had you know a, a really good spring and an ability to i hope take it that you know again we need him to be able to go and we talked we need him to be able to go out and give darius a rest you know darius got tired last year i mean he played all those guys those three in our room the obligation of keeping fresh is the second unit. And if the second unit can't compete as well as the first unit, then we can't rest them as much. And I, I, I feel confident we're going to have seven, eight guys this year that can play. And we need to get to that number. So, Do you feel this year's unit is a tad more athletic than last year's? I know last year you had some big maulers. Is this year you got a little more, um, you know, a little more athleticism? We're probably a little niftier out there, you know. I, I think. Uh, Roman Braglio brings a lot of speed and motor and athleticism. Just, you know, Quentin is an athletic kid and uh, does a lot of good things like that. You know, Darius is a is surprisingly athletic, and we could get him to turn that loose a little more. You know, and and uh, but yeah, I think we're a little quicker, and I think you know the kids coming in are bringing some athleticism with them too. So yeah, I think we're we're kind of moving to the the longer, more athletic group of guys. You know, just lastly, how firm are you with your starters right now, and particularly that end position? How much is that being contested? I think it's a. I think it's going to always be, like I said, if if the, I don't think we have a superstar in the mix. I know we don't. Um, I think that the problem that we had here in the last two years was the separation from Joe Villano to the guy behind him, or from last year, AJ, to the guy behind him was too far. And we ended up only playing three or four guys way too many snaps. And, and, that, and that's what happens is your defense wears down. Um, we were not as stout at the end of the year as we were at the beginning of the year. So, uh, you know, we have to develop guys that think they can start. And, you know, I'm pushing Justin Anderson and Nate Clark and Roman to, to try to win starting jobs. I want that level of competition that each week is going to be judged on who the starters are. So, yeah, that group's in front right now. But, you know, to me, it's a, a week. It's a weekly thing and a production thing and a do your job thing. And, and uh, I want that to be a, a very, very competitive room where it wasn't last year. You know, Joe was clearly above AJ and Joe were clearly above everybody else. So that's what we're striving for. But yeah, I mean, those first group has been, they've performed pretty well this spring and, and uh, they're going to certainly go into camp as the first group and we'll see how they do. All right, Coach, thanks.